we have been compelled to create a permanent armaments industry of vast proportion. Three and a half million men and women are directly engaged in the defense establishment. The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. We recognize the imperative need for this development, yet we must not fail to comprehend its grave implications. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. In 1962, they were innocent and fought for kicks. You show up like a ghost. Oh. That's for the last six years. I hated you, man, for what you did back in 68. The war is dirty and brutal. In 1968, they were corrupted and fought for their lives. I don't live that life anymore. What, you expect me to trust you? That's it. You get in with these people and you report to me. This is government corruption in the White House to hear. Our sons fight in the jungles of Vietnam. We still got troops there, man. It ain't over until it's over. Nixon will be over if I have anything to do about it. I hated the way they treated us, and I want some payback, too. In 1974, they were disillusioned and fought for their sanity. It's gonna get ugly. What did you do? Tell me it's gonna fall! Where is it, man? Where is it? We have to save those people! Oh, God, help us! Therefore, I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. We get out of this alive. Your time in my life is done. <laughs>